Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. Happy Sunday to all of you guys. This week has been nutty, so I am bringing you some super easy, nothing fancy, just cheap, delicious meals, just stuff we like to make in our house, um, but I jazzed it up a little bit. So, super easy to follow. So nothing, um, nothing too creative. I will be coming up with some really fun recipes, and you guys voted on a bunch of stuff, so I'll share that coming up. But I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I do have um, a one or two giveaways coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't, hit that notification bell. That way it lets you guys know every time that I upload. And let's go ahead and get started, guys. Okay, guys, this first recipe is insanely easy. I love tacos. I eat tacos constantly. So, of course, we are out of time on this specific night. So what I'm doing is throwing one of those big packs of ground turkey into the pan and I am throwing in a can of Rotel, and this is prior to me getting another can opener because my other one literally had just broke. And I am throwing in a pack of taco seasoning. And then we'll throw in another pack because I use the uh, larger uh, package of meat from Aldi. So you can use beef, as you know, or ground turkey or chicken or anything that you like. Um, so then we're just mixing it together. I did throw three packets in because you know, for each pound of meat, you're supposed to put a pack in. So I am using about two and a half pounds of meat. So what I'm doing now, I'm going over here. I thought, why not jazz it up a little bit more? Kids love Doritos. So I'm just crushing up some Doritos that we already had on hand. And we are just going to mix them into this and give them just an extra little bit of crunch, which it actually softens up quite a bit when you cook it, um, and give it some extra flavor. So. You can add Fritos in, whatever you want to do with this. It's just, with tacos, you can pretty much add any type of seasonings, flavors into it, and the family is going to be happy. And I know I am. So that is what we are serving. I had some corn, some refried beans, and some wraps, and delicious. Next recipe is, yes, you guys, ground chicken. You can use beef like like I've told you a million times, this, this can be any type of meat that you want to use. This specific night, I'm using ground chicken because Ryan will eat ground chicken if I cook it the right way. So tonight, I am putting in one of those onion packets, those like Lipton soup generic onion packets, throwing some of that Worcestershire sauce in, Worcestershire, there we go, and some salt and some pepper. And no, I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to throw it all together. It gives it a whole lot of flavor, especially with that onion packet. And we're just mixing it together. Um, if you've never tried chicken burgers, you know, they they take time to get used to with the ground chicken. But honestly, if you can make them in a burger form and put ranch and chicken in ranch and cheese in them or any other type of seasonings and stuff, it really, really turns out yummy because I did not like ground chicken when I first started eating it. But I love it now if I make it in burgers. So I'm just sticking this in those air fryer that I showed you guys the other week. This thing is awesome. It cooks it insanely fast. And then I had some hash browns because I always keep them on hand or tater tots, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm just throwing them in there with them and it makes for an easy dinner to pop both of these in there. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. So there you go, super easy burger and tater tots. This one, yes, guys, Ryan said, why in the world are you filming this for people? And I said, you know what? Because it's real life. We are a family of six. Life gets busy, and this is cheap. I'm throwing popcorn chicken in the red bag from Aldi, and it was on special and some fries, and the kids were super happy. This is one of our go-tos. I did not have bacon, um, so I'm taking a pack of the chicken, and I'm just using three chicken breasts and just putting them in the bottom of my crock pot because they love cracked chicken in our house um, for sandwiches. You can put it on pasta. You can do whatever you want with this. Um, so I'm just going to put those in the bottom of my crock pot, three chicken breasts. And then I keep ranch seasoning on hand. So I'm taking one packet of the ranch seasoning mixture and just pouring it on top of the chicken. And then I am going to take some garlic powder because garlic makes everything better and pour that on top and then we are putting of course you guys if you if you're new to my channel 
then I like cheese, so I'm putting cheese on this. Then we're putting in a fourth a cup of water. And we're going to add in the cream cheese or Neufchatel. Um, I had Neufchatel. It's just basically a lighter version of cream cheese. You just cut it into cubes to help it, like, cook evenly. And then we will cook this. You can cook it on high for um, two to four hours, or you can cook it on low for four to six. And I had to actually leave, so Ryan shredded the chicken once it was done, and he didn't film it. But it turned out perfect. They had it on sandwiches with a vegetable and fries. You guys, this is another random dinner. I literally only had the, like, so many items left in my fridge before the grocery store. And I thought, why don't we use them up? I've never made a quiche in my life. So I thought, I've got a pie crust to use. I've got ham to use. So I chopped my ham up. I chopped the um, pepper jack cheese up that I had. You can use whatever kind you have on hand. There was no set amount. I just randomly chipped, just randomly chopped up a whole bunch of it that I just happened to have on hand. And I'm taking that extra pie crust and just fitting it around the pie shell. Then I am going to take four eggs, which I had just enough here. <laughs> and I am just going to mix those together in this bowl. And then we were adding in half and half. I'm adding in one cup of half and half. And then I am adding in some um, pepper and I'm adding in some salt. There's no like amount for that. And then I'm going to add in one teaspoon of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm adding the cheese in now that I'd already cut up. If you want to like have precise measurements, then you can use one and a half cups of cooked cubed ham and a cup of Swiss, Swiss cheese grated. That's, that's not what I had, so I'm just using what I have. And then you can also use a cup of cheddar cheese grated. Like that was what like a standard recipe would be. And then a half of a yellow onion diced up. But I am using a whole onion because why waste the other half? So and all we're going to do is we're going to pour this onto that pie crust and spread it out. Make sure you get it all in there. So I cooked this in the oven at 375 for about 35 to 42 minutes, just dependent upon your oven. And we served it with some hash browns and it turned out just perfect. And you can always freeze the leftovers, guys. Okay, friends, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will consider subscribing if you're new and give the video a big thumbs up. I do appreciate every one of you guys. And if I'm slow to get back in comments, I promise I will get back to you guys. I do truly appreciate them all from the bottom of my heart. So I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you guys in Tuesday's video. Love you guys.